see sheeting it down. Never work with children or animals. Right, so it's nearly mid-July. Well, it's about 10, something like that. Uh, and we're out after Robux. Um, I've got me set up Scotland and it looks like it's going to start raining. Or it is raining. Uh, and it looks like it's going to be an all night, unfortunately, for tonight. Um, it's funny because the last few weeks has been absolutely scorching. And then from sort of Saturday onwards, it's just started hammering it down. And probably hear it it's coming in now so I'm just gonna give it a bit see if it blows over it says according to weather it's 90% um, chance of rain for the next few hours but hopefully it'll just blow over uh, I'll get back out again it's calmed down a bit it keeps coming down in um, uh, I don't know heavy rain and then it's just a bit drizzly so I might as well get out and see what's about it's not too bad so we should be all right I'm gonna get my camera first and then we'll go for a wander just going to stop on this ride a bit. Um, the camera's just a bit further on, and I'm going to just try a bit of calling. I don't know if you can see, it's going to try and whisper. So I'm just going to try a little bit of calling. You never know, something might pop out. Well, it seems like nothing wants to play just at the minute probably just wet and horrible so what I'm gonna do carry on down pick the camera up and we'll work his way on forward right come on then let's go there we go I didn't know if I'm gonna find it then or not but can I remember where I put my blooming camera but got it let's have a look here we go probably Probably. Batteries are probably flat. Hey, down. Got some more batteries to put in it anyway. I know it's still working. I had 126, 128 card in it. So I've got 200 odd left. Uh, quick scan, see if I can see out. Oh, goodbye. So it looks like battery might have gone flat. Try again. Uh, it's only got 46. Looks like the first few of them are me, and then the last one's a couple of me. Looks like a doe. Well, that might have been a book, but. Right, I'll get this downloaded and I'll show you some of the videos. Um, looks at the minute like it's just a doe that's wandering round. But if she's about, there might be a buck following, you never know. We'll see. Switch it off. Right, go on down. Here, here, look. Stand on it. Never work with children or animals. So here's the benefit of using a slightly bigger screen than the one that's on the back of the camera. You can just about make out on here. This is the uh, it's a row book, and he's there the day after I was on that ground. So he's obviously milling about in this area for some reason. There we go, a bit better look at his antlers there. I've got a feeling that I might catch up with this guy a little bit later on in video. Ah, that's the reason why he's about. The doe's there. I do see him once together on ride um, during the night at one point on this camera, but it's not easy to see, so I didn't bother recording it. Now, this is a bit odd. Somebody's walking down ride and at half past nine at night taking a photo of someone on ground. The only way to get out of that ride is either go back the way you come or come through the trees at the far end. There we go, doze about. So that's why everything's there. Still taking the same route. <laughs> Didn't take him too long. An hour later, the big boy's back having a sniff around. Yeah, he's obviously interested there. Go 
couple of billy boys funny how they're, they're always walking just inside the wood they're not bothered about walking on the ride it's a pair of them mooching about yes looking at the camera there ah oh, this is something new uh, a little buck he's just obviously milling about because the doe was there must be interested oh thrashing about on the trees give them a good scene too going in way Uh, a few days later though, big boy's still about. Yeah, he's still interested. Foxy, Foxy, I didn't see too many of them on this camera this time. Ah, oh, there we go, that's Doe to finish off with. Did see a few times on camera, so they're all milling about in the same sort of area. Just see what I can find now. Well, there's not a lot happening this evening. It's still persisting it down and I'm drenched. Um, I didn't bring my waterproofs because I thought I'll be too warm and I'll sweat up with them. So it's a case of my bottom half soaking wet because of rain, my top half soaking wet because I'm wearing a waterproof. Can't win. But I'm going to get out onto open, come through wood, wood sort of come, uh, wood wind sort of come round a bit so it's now it will be behind me so I'm coming down so it wasn't ideal so now I'm going to walk my way into the middle and I think just as it's getting dark I think it'll get dark quick tonight just because it rain and I'll just gradually work my way back but um, yeah it's um, it's not the best of evenings the thing is it's a yellow weather warning further um, further west and it's set for all day tomorrow as well brilliant so it looks like it's just going to be a wet and hopefully it's going to be dry in the morning uh, and then it might come in this in the afternoon but uh, yeah it's not nice keeping all night maybe something will come out in the morning well I think it's got a bit worse I just got back out into the open, wind's picked up and it's silently sheeting it down. Sheeting it, as in sheets of rain, not, not anything else. Um, so, I think it's just a case of making my way back and getting me sent a brew, I think, because it tonight is horrible. And nothing in its right mind, I think, will be out in this. The only best chance I've got is going back into the orchard bit where there might be a bit of cover, but other than that, it's um, wet. So I finally gets into the orchard. Uh, hopefully the summit might be taking a little bit of cover in here, but this first stint didn't really show itself. So what I thought I'd do is move on to the opposite side of the track. Uh, the ground sort of slopes away from either side of the track so are we, uh, you can't really see from one side to the other but I do spot a row uh, on the far tree line but I couldn't quite tell at this point if it was a buck or a doe so what I thought I'd try and do is get in front of it and hopefully uh, the wind would be in my favour so rifle back on the shoulder and start moving on Gets myself into another position, hoping that I'm going to be in the right spot for it. But now if you look to the left now, just behind them far trees, there we go, just appears, starts walking towards me. Looks at me, can't quite decide what to do. And he's away. Well, sorry I didn't get that on camera. I'd got one rolling, 
on top of rifle because I was hoping something would come up up here. I was a bit further over, the wind sort of actually it's changed again, it's coming up here, it was coming across. And um spotted something, I wasn't sure if it was a buck or a doe, and it was coming up. So I thought what I'll do is I'll I got higher up to it, or try and get in front of it, and I got to this point here. And um I'm still looking in that direction, scanning around, can't see out. And I just crouched down like this, typical, and I just scanned down and it just come straight up there at me. Oh, I can't quite tell, I'm fogging up a bit. There we go, is that any better? So if you can see where that, well, little tree is, where is it? It's barely eight yards or something like that. And it come up trotting away to me got to this little tree here and I'm like there's not a great deal I can do here either it's gonna just run off or I'm gonna move so I think I probably should have let it let it just decide to trot off on its own before it, I move but anyway seen us ran off barking stopped for a second but I had a few branches in way and there's no way I could get rifle onto it and it ran off so bugger <laughs> Can't believe it. Not much else I can do to that though now. Can't believe how close it got. Can't believe it. Mind you, wind sort of, rain sort of stopped a bit. Wind direction's changed again, it's coming across. It was heading straight down earlier on. Can't believe it. Never mind. At least I've seen a book, I suppose. I wonder if it'll call that like out again. I don't know. Well, it's not far off. Coming back for a brew anyway. Right, try again in the morning, probably. These flies are getting a bit mad. Well, I'm sorry about this. I know I keep saying I'm going for a brew and I don't know how well this little camera has picked that one up and it's getting dark anyway. But I thought, do you know what? I'm going to come out. The wind, st well, wind, the rain stopped. The wind's still blowing, but it's reasonably warm. I thought at least it'll dry us out a bit. So I thought, right, I'm going to come out into this clear fell. Because you never know, something might be coming out. And I've been scanning along that edge backwards and forwards with thermal not seen a thing all of a sudden one pops out onto track in front of us um, what sort of distance maybe 70 80 yards something like that anyway sort of like clocked us a bit and ran off into cover and then and then that was sort of it sort of milled about for a bit so I managed to get onto it had a shot it's sort of like danced about a bit but it went over I'm sure it did it can't run off anyway it's still over there so it's a case of probably trying to find it in cover now oh luckily I've got my mantel with me but it's going up to about nine nine it's going up to about ten o'clock right let me get this out I'll probably go onto the track go back and once again I can get the van to pick it up bonus right so we'll go and have a look Yes, so let's go and have a look. Ah, there we are. Oh, it's even on track, I think. That tally, eel, eel. There we go. Looks a big one. Straight through. Well, that's an hole and a half, that is. Is it here, lad? Is it here? Good boy, good boy. Good boy. Oh, I thought it was twitching then. And that's with um, one of those um, 
What are they? What am I using? Winchester. Winchester copper. Straight into the shoulder, straight through. Right, let me get some stuff together and I'll uh, get this one sorted. <sighs> oh, fucking hell, fire. What a beaut. Oh, all right. Now, one thing I've got with me is my new little knife. And somebody posted up on a, and put a comment up last time I put this up on a short and says, a, a knife with a big handle and a short blade. What are you going to cut with that? Well, it's one of these. So let me sort this kit out, take a couple of photos, send them onto the group, and then um, I'll get it fettled. Because my hands have been that wet, I can barely get my gloves on. Oh, chuff me. Uh, Tal, come over here. Up. Oh, we'll get something in a bit, don't worry. Right, just put that cloth down so I can see whereabouts the um, knife is when I put it down. Bloody hell, this is a beer uh, In there. There it is. I'll never find this bloody thing. Right, handy. Tiny blade, tell come up around here, up. So this is a naked catcher. I only got a small blade on it. Finger quite easily on end, so you're not gonna cut any guts. And just literally it's straight up, nice and sharp. There we go. Straight up. But right, some fat in here, lad. Nice liver, at least it's all clean on inside. So, I fight top at stomach. It got kidney for you. Come on, that's up. Cubbins out. Let's have a look at you. Ah, ah, ah. no, not having that bit. There's a bit of a twig and what have you on. Now that's all in good nick. Now I've just got to pull this bit out. Lungs all, well, top at lungs look like we've got it. That don't look too bad. Perfect. Right. That's it. So that's what you can do with an handle and a short blade. And it's easier to clean as well and it's going dark. Well, it was getting a little bit too dark to film and I had to try and brighten the image up a bit just so you could see something. So what I thought I'd do is just give you a little bit of a close-up shot of what the knife I was using. Uh, it is one of the knives that I make and this is a Dane & Blades Naked Catcher. So this particular version obviously got no handle material on, hence it's a naked version. Uh, just got a hole drilled into it to put a lanyard on. It's been acid etched then stone washed. Uh, it comes with uh, a Kydex sheath. Uh, I've got a few different colours. So I've got the uh, Coyote Brown, Green and Black. Uh, comes with a belt clip as well. So you can either attach it to your kit, put it onto your belt or just store it away into a, a storage compartment out of the road. So it, because it's got a nice slim uh, profile, doesn't take up a great deal of room. So blatant plug alert, these knives are available on the Dane & Blades website. Go and take a look, I'll put a link in the description somewhere. I've got these knives on there, I've got a selection of a few other different knives that I make on there as well. Uh, quite a lot of sort of like bespoke ones as well, so if there's something you fancy but in a different blade or style handle or whatever, just get in touch and I'll see if I can make it for you. Um, it does help the channel out for anything that's purchased on there. I'm hoping at some point to get a camera to stick on the back of the rifle just so I can get some better footage uh, of a shot being taken. Should hopefully make the video a little bit more interesting. So go and take a look at the website. Don't forget, like and subscribe the videos. 
hopefully next time I'll have another road book on the ground. But you'll have to make sure you subscribe to see the video. I'll catch you next time. Thank you very much. See you.